blink and you'll miss them. Electronic or e-scooters are speeding into the Dunedin market. A North East Valley distributor says demand is increasing and the city's geography isn't a problem for one of the models they supply. And then being in Dunedin, we've uh, got one now that can pretty well do most hills in Dunedin as well. So, you know, that's, that's a biggie because of the fact that we're in such a steep city, the ability to just get around and, yeah. and not being be thwarted by our hills. Anecdotally, it seems only a couple of months ago, just a handful of New Zealanders would have known what an e-scooter is. But recent publicity surrounding scooter sharing company Lime has changed all that. Parker says the company's proposed introduction into Dunedin will be good for business. I'm really interested in the integration of, of electric transport. So for me it's about being able to put one of these in the back of a vehicle or put it on the bus um, or the ability to, to go down the hill a couple of k's to the bus, get on it and, and so on. E-scooters don't meet the New Zealand Transport Agency's definition of a motor vehicle, meaning they can be ridden on footpaths, roads and cycle lanes. Otago Daily Times reporter Tim Miller tried an e-scooter out recently, pushing the vehicle to its top speed of more than 25 kilometres an hour. Um, but what is the most surprising thing is they are quick, and how quick you can get up to the top speed. Um, the road here is only probably just over 100 metres long of that, and I got up to the top speed in 10 seconds, 20, 25, 26, 27 k. But it hasn't been a smooth ride for the e-scooter industry so far, with nearly 150 ACC claims being lodged for injuries in just a couple of months. Dunedin's set to host a three-month trial of rental scooters before the end of the year. And currently there's no Dunedin City Council bylaw restricting the use of scooters in the city, but the council says it's working with Lyme to create a safety agreement. In Dunedin, the South Today.